Come revise A-level chemistry with me. Can you identify the oxidation state of these elements? In F2, fluorine has an oxidation state of zero because it's an element. In hydrogen fluoride, fluorine has an oxidation state of minus one and hydrogen has an oxidation state of plus one. In hydrogen chloride, chlorine has an oxidation state of minus one and hydrogen has an oxidation state of plus one. In fluorine chloride, fluorine has an oxidation state of minus one and chlorine has an oxidation state of plus one. Remember, fluorine is your most electronegative element, and so if there's ever a contradiction between the rules you've learnt, fluorine wins. In water, hydrogen has an oxidation state of plus one and oxygen has an oxidation state of minus two. But in hydrogen peroxide, hydrogen still has an oxidation state of plus one, but oxygen now has an oxidation state of minus one. Remember, oxygen will be minus two unless it's bonded to fluorine or it's in a peroxide. In sulfuric acid, oxygen has an oxidation state of minus two, hydrogen has an oxidation state of plus one, and that means that sulfur must have an oxidation state of plus six. But in sulfur dioxide, oxygen is still minus two, but now sulfur is plus four. In vanadium pentoxide, oxygen is still minus two, and that means that vanadium must be plus five. And in potassium permanganate, oxygen is still minus two, and potassium is plus one, so that means that manganese must be plus seven. And in sodium dichromate, sodium is plus one, oxygen is minus two, and that means that chromium must be plus six. How did you get on? <laughs>